to my channel mindset academy where we want to reproduce the figure that is displayed at the right hand side of the screen using the principle of tangency like i always tell you the first thing you do is to draw your y and your x axis so let me start from here and let me push this to be my y axis this way Can see that and um, to get the x axis on this point so i'll draw my horizontal line also this way and this is where both are meeting at this point here now from this center that is this circle center of the circle to the center of the next circle here given to the word 93 right that means from this center here i'm going to measure 46.5 downward and 46.5 upward right that's what i am going to do so because we add it we have 93 so i'll take my meter rule and i'm going to measure from zero to this 45 this 46.5 is here out together so i'll place it at this point here i'll mark up and i'll also mark down right this is what we have so i'll just taking it this way because they are all center lines so let me just make it the center line that is supposed to be long short And here too. You can see that. So the next thing is after I've gotten the center, meaning that from here to here is what 93. This point you're seeing here, I'm going to draw my center line. So let's draw the center line at that point. Now at this point too. You can see that. So the radius of the circle there is giving us diameter of nine. So I I need four point five. We will to get nine, right? So half of nine is four point five since we are working radius. So from zero, this is four point five here. Can you see that? So I'll place it at this center. Whatever I do at one end, you do at the other end. So I have this this way. I'll bring it here also at the center here too. I have this this way too. So you can see that right and the outer one is giving us radius of 12 right so i'm going to measure radius of 12 from zero this is 10 11 12 here can you see that and now place it at the center also now draw a circle but different line i come to the center also i'll draw a circle but i'll be using what point line first Hope you can see that now the next one is from this point right to this next circle here which this i'm talking about this circle that has a diameter of 34 is 21 so i'm going to 21 upward and downward as you can see in the diagram from here to here 21 and from here to here also 21 so let me measure 21 now zero this is 21 here can you see that and I'll put it at this point, I'll mark 21, I'll mark 21. That will be another center of another circle. So let me do that. Take it. Yeah, also. You 
I see that. Now we will proceed. Now after I've gotten to center here, I'll now draw the radius of what? 17 because half of 34 is 17. So I'll use 17. 0, this is 10, this is 15, 16, 17 here, right? And I'll place it and I'll draw the circle I want to draw here, which I'm going to what? Tick in. So I'm going to tick in that circle. I'll come here also, I'll tick in the circle. You can see that so now the next one is the other circle at this end here i will don't know the distance but if you look at this it's given to be 44 so 22 to the left and what 22 to the right will give me what i want there so if i measure 22 from 0 this is 20 21 22 here right and i'll place it at this point i'll mark 22 here and also mark what let's gauge that very well 22 here and what 22 here so those points are another center here so let me make it center of a circle You can see that now the radius here you can see is the same as the diameter of what of the nine you see right so that means the radius we have here the same radius that is here you can see that the same radius i'll have here and i'll place it here and i'll draw the circle i need here Right, I'll come here also. I'll do the same thing here too. So I put that I need here. You can see that. Now, aside that, you've done. Now, the next thing is um, another radius here. We have this arc. This arc you're seeing here, it has the radius of uh, of fourteen, right? So I'm going to measure 14 on the meter row from 0, this is 14 here, right? And I'll place it at this point and I'll draw a circle using my faint line. Just faint line first. Hope you can see that. And I will come here also. I'll do the same thing here too, faint line. Hope you can see that. Now, the next thing is, there's another bigger circle here, this one you see, that the key, and that has a radius of what, 25, the bigger circle you can see, it has a radius of what, 25, is that the key? So, what I'm going to do is, I'll measure the radius of 25, so let's do that, 25, zero, this 25 here, and I'll place it at the center here. And I'll draw a bigger circle. Right? And I'll place it at the center here also. I'm going to draw another bigger circle. Don't forget, the rest of this circle and this circle is 125. Now, the next thing is we need to start to draw what is connecting each of the circle. And if you look at this arc, you see, right? The arc connecting this circle to this has a radius of what of 10. So let's start with this two arc here. You can see my arrow. So whatever I do here, I will do here. I will also do here and what I will do here. So if I have a radius of 10, I'm going to add since it is going in and the circle means that it is what external. So I'm going to add, right? So radius of 10, if I'm considering this circle here, the radius of this circle is 12. So radius of 10 plus radius of 12, that will give us what? 22. So I'm going to measure 22 on my metal rule. From 0, this is 20, 21, 22. Can you see that? And I'll place it, since I'm considering this circle, 
I place it at the center here. I'll strike an arc at the left hand side and also at the right hand side. You can see that. I will come here also. I'll strike an arc at the left hand side and also at the right hand side. You can see that. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is that I will now consider the next circle, which is this bigger one, which has a radius of 125. And I'll add, since it is um, also, it is going, so I'm going to add them to, so 25 plus 10, that will give us 35, because it is also external. So that is 35. So I'm going to measure 35 on my meter rule, 0, 30, 35 here. Can you see that? And I'll place it at the center, since I'm considering this bigger circle, and this is the center of the circle, I'll cut here, and also, I'll cut here. I'll come here also, I'll do the same thing, I'll cut here, also, I'll cut here. So this is where they are meeting at this point here. They're all meeting at this point. So I will now take my compass and place it at this point, this way. Then connect these two circles together. I hope you can see that. Just gauge one of them and connect them together. More visible. You can see that. And I'll come here too. I'll do the same thing too here. Let's gauge that up. You can see that? I'll come here too. I'll do the same thing here. Right? I'll come here too. I'll do the same thing here. Try again. And I can easily close it up this way. You can see that. I'll do the same thing here too, and I'll be having this. Right, so now the next one is talking about what is connecting this and this. If you look at the radius of this arc here, it's 15. So whatever I do here, must be the same thing I will do here, must be the same thing I will do here and here. And they are all going in external, right? So we are going to add. So if you look at this now, the radius of this circle here is 14, and the rest of that arc is what is 15. So we add 14, right? And 15 if you have been 29. So I'm going to measure 29 on my meter rule this way. So from 0 to what 29 here all together and I'll place it at this point. Now what I'm considering, I'll mark this side. I'll also mark this side. I'll come here also. I'll mark this side. I also mark the side. You can see that. So after doing that, now I want to consider the bigger circle, which is 25. So 15 plus 25, that is what? 40, right? So I'm going to add the radius of this, which is 25, and the rest of that arc, which is 15, I'll give us 40. So 0 to 4 is what? 40. Now since I'm considering the circle, I'll place it at the center here, and I'll strike and arc, cut here, and cut here. I'll place it here also, strike another arc, cut here, and also cut here. So where they meet. So let me start with this, from this point. We're going to have this. Hope you can see what I'm doing. I'll come here too, I'll do the same thing too. I'll come here too, I'll do the same thing. I'll 
or Cornell Byzantium. Right? Then I'll take in the place of compass here and take in the rest on this point. You're taking this. Right? And from this point also, you're taking this. So we'll do that properly. And also from this point, you're taking this. And this also. The same thing with this point also. You're taking this. And this also. So when you do that, this is what you'll be having. So this is what you'll be having. Right? So we successfully reproduce the figure that is displayed at the right hand side of the screen using the principle of tangency. And the next thing you have to do that will assist you is to do your um your dimension just like you see. So I don't have to repeat some of the things here. Because if I say this is similar as this and this, I don't have to do that. This is what we have here. So if you have found this video helpful, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and also share the video. Thanks for watching.